Okay, welcome to the instructional video on uh, getting the fishing boat ready to go uh, at the cottage. And uh, here to uh, give the instructions is Dad. So here we go. Hi. This is going to be pretty simple, but uh, we're going to go through it step by step just to make sure you remember everything you need to know. So uh, first step is going to be to uh, put the, the life jackets and the oars in the boat and then uh, untie the boat from the tree and throw the bow line uh, you know on the dock or someplace where you can someone insisting you can reach it um, and unfortunately you do need to get into the water to uh, prepare the boat to launch so today we have the gas tank already in in the boat normally this would be in the cottage with the little cap on the top of the gas tank um, screwed shut. That's the way you keep it for storage. When you're getting ready to run the boat, you loosen the cap and allow air to pull into the tank. The other thing that you need to do before you do anything is put the plug in the boat. In storage, we're going to leave the plug out of the boat so the water drains freely into the lake when it rains. Well, let me just get a close-up on that here so we're in focus. Simply put the, the plug in the hole and fold it over. I'll make that a little bit tighter. You make it tighter by turning the, the screw. So that's uh, that's probably the most important lesson here. Okay, um, the other thing we've done is we've strapped down the back of the boat to the to the lift with these bungee cords. So they're on here pretty tight, but just uh, just lift them up and let them float in the water. They're secured to the to the frame. Okay. Now, since you're already in the water, it's probably the easiest time to take the tilt off of the boat. So just lift up here. Lift the little lever up here, or I should say. Pull the lever down so that it fits into the slot, and then it just lowers into place. And then flip the flip, flip the, the black throttle. flip the uh, the lever on the uh, on the front side, the black right there. Um, that's not yeah. Th that'll lock it. That locks it into place. And and then when you get back and you need to you know put it into storage, you just flip it back to tilt it up. All right, Dean, you want to cast off the bow line? Okay. And we'll slide the boat back. All right, we're going to pause here for a second while I untie the boat. Okay, the bow line's off. Now all we have to do is hold one hand on the back of the motor and one on the... Pull it back towards you, and it should slide easily off the lift. You can just and just walk. line up to the dock to give you time to get up and get in it. You know, why don't I just do the motor starting here from the lake? Okay. Okay. Um, to start the motor. Again, make sure that the uh, the cap on the gas cap, the little cap, is loose, and you you'll need to pump the fuel ball up several times until it, you feel the fuel in the ball, and it should feel firm. Pull the choke on. Crank the throttle up to the start position, which is just uh, below the C there, and pull the rope. Simple. <laughs> Nothing to it. Turn the choke off. Now, and to stop the motor, press the kill switch at the end of the throttle. 
Do you, you want to show them how to put it in gear? Um, yeah, I, I think you can remember that, but the, the gear selector is on the back side here. You may need to throttle down a little bit to move it into forward or reverse. You, know, you can't see that in the photo here, but uh, it's pretty simple. It's just a simple lever back and forth. Um, now, I started the motor earlier today, so uh, it, you know it started very easily here, but it probably takes three or four pulls with the choke full on. Uh, and and uh, if it doesn't start after that, turn the choke off, pull it a few more times, then choke back on and keep repeating that uh, until, until it does fire. But once it starts, you'll have the choke on, leave the choke on, work the throttle up to the max position, and then start to, uh, after it runs for 20 or 30 seconds, you know, work the, work the, throt the, the choke back off until you can get it all the way off. Which off is pushed in all the off way. Off is pushed in. Yeah. And uh, do not touch this little uh, dial in the middle. You don't need that for anything. So, And uh, after that, just make sure your oars are in place in the oar locks. And uh, there's life jackets for everybody. And you're ready to go. So. All right. Well, Happy thank you. Voting. And we should address one uh, uh, situation if, if the... If the pull cord gets pulled and stuck out and, uh, as you're getting ready to pull and start the Good boat. Point, there's, a, there's a lever at the back of the motor here. You pull it from left to right and just lift the cover off. This is in the event that while you're starting to pull the motor to get it started, the pull cord gets stuck completely out. And doesn't recoil. And maybe you could uh, pull it out um, and show. Well, <laughs> basically what happens is the cord will be hanging out here. And, and what you need to do is, is get a screwdriver and, and go into this um, uh, slot on the top of the, of the recoil gear here. And, uh, and just turn it by hand clockwise. And All that, it takes is a slight little turn. A little, and, and this thing, will, there's a strong spring in there. It'll wind back up. So keep your fingers clear of that. Just put the screwdriver in here and, and turn it. Okay. And that'll get you set back in case the right. cord gets stuck in the out position. Yeah, so to put the cover back on, there's a little tab here in the front that goes into this slot. Put that on. And you'll feel the, the latch pull the cover down tight. And uh, then that's all you should have to do. So hopefully you don't have any trouble starting the motor. Alrighty. All right. Well, why don't we, should we go through the, uh, the put away stage as long as we're here? Sounds good. We'll just keep this rolling okay. and uh, get the thing for getting the boat back on the lift. So we don't have a winch yet, so this is a manual operation. It requires you to enter the water. And let's yeah. be clear too, when the boat is on the lift, to not get in the boat uh, at all. Uh, good point, Dan. Thanks for <laughs> reminding <laughs> The lift is not already built to support people in the boat, so stay off the lift. So this is this is pretty simple and straightforward. You just need to align the boat with the uh, the first dolly wheel there. How are we doing there? Nice and straight. Uh, come a little bit a little bit to your left. You might back it out a little bit and start over. Oh, back it out, back it out, back it out. Okay, now, yeah, go there, you're right on it. No, okay. straight up. Once you're on it, push it straight towards the tree. Keep pushing. You're going to have to push hard to get it up there. And try and get it all the way up to that front dolly wheel where the bow is touching that. There you go. Okay. So once you do that, you take the bow line rope, secure it to the tree up here as we untied it, and then uh, reattach the, or pull the motor up. So you turn the, the switch back, counterclockwise here, lift the motor up, put the latch into the position that locks it there, screw the cap down on the fuel tank, and I think we can leave the fuel tank in the boat. So 
Um, so that's all there is to it. Oh, and then reattach the bungees. Oh, good thinking. <laughs> and reattach the bungees. Just simple because they're just going to be laying in the water from earlier. Just uh, one more thing, if you, because for any reason you needed to take the gas tank out, which is actually normally we store the gas tank in the in the shed. To take it out, all you have to do is you know, make sure that's loose when you take it off, and then disconnect it by pushing this little lever. Okay. We're going to leave this all hooked up and ready to go for this week, but uh, I hope you don't have any problems. <laughs> Good luck. Enjoy the boat. <laughs> Thanks, Dad.